Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your graphics or video driver in Windows 10. This is very similar to previous versions of Windows. However, I did think that a brief tutorial was in order. So, very simple. I'm going to go over a couple of different methods here. If the first way doesn't get you any updated drivers, I'll show you how to manually download drivers. So, the first place I would go to is search on the start menu and you want to type in device manager it should be listed underneath the control panel so you want to left click on that Underneath our device manager, there should be display adapters. If you left click on this little drop down arrow, I'm currently in a virtual machine, so that's why it's coming up with this VMware SVGA 3D. However, if you were using a NVIDIA or AMD or Intel, um, none of them would really make a difference what we're about to do. So, right now, just right click on whatever's directly underneath your display adapter when you click on this little drop down arrow. Right click on it and then left click on update driver software so how do you want to search for the driver software I would recommend first you would want to try to search automatically for updated driver software online that way in case you have an outdated driver you found online there could be a better one that is available through an automatic download so we can see our best driver software has already been installed at least according to Microsoft's detection However, if you're having some serious display adapter issues or you want to go and check for yourself, you can go online and I'll just give a brief um, suggestion as to what to look for. So let's say for example you had a NVIDIA video driver or graphics card and you want to type it in, type in on Google, do NVIDIA video drivers and then the first link that should pop up will be the option to download NVIDIA drivers okay so the one type of way that you can find downloads through NVIDIA is that you can type in what type of driver you're looking for and it should be specified in the device manager that we had previously open it should give you some more information about what type of driver was installed and then you have to input what operating system it is and what language you want to install and there's also an alternative way which I really do like about NVIDIA is that they have an automatic downloading tool that will search your computer and will find exactly what drivers you need and if you just clicked on this graphic drivers button it would direct you to an installation and a check to see what products could be updated very simple to do that so now that we cover NVIDIA you go to AMD let's say AMD drivers and again the first link that's not an advertisement should be for support.amd.com again like NVIDIA they have this automatic driver download and detection tool to make sure you're running those up to day one as well as an option to manually search for the downloads as well for different drivers um, I personally would recommend if you can do the automatic detect tools if available um, if you're trying to save a driver to a flash drive and use it on another device then of course you're going to have to manually search for it but there's really no reason to do that if you don't have to so most people you can probably just automatically detect and it will install the driver for you and without even going into Intel, Intel has a very similar thing as well and just to give an example of what to do if you have to manually install the driver uh, you'd have to go back into device manager meaning if the driver was not able to automatically install by itself either through device manager or through the publisher's website so you would go to device manager go underneath display adapters and then go whatever the, and then whatever your display adapter is under here right click on it 
left click on updated driver software and at this point instead of clicking on search automatically for updated driver software you would select browse my computer for driver software so if you had a flash drive and you were moving a driver from one computer to another this would be the option you would use so again i hope this tutorial helped you guys out and i will see you in the next video goodbye